Good morning or good afternoon guys. This week I thought we'd start off with talking about a few of the more sustainable options that I have in my studio compared to what others might have. These are just a great helpful tip to give you guys if you're just starting out so that way you reduce your plastic intake. Because when you make art you'll really start to notice the amount of plastic wraps and spoons and containers you accumulate just by having the supplies. So these are my top few things that I use that are more sustainable than just using a plastic alternative. So first up we have gloves. Rubber gloves you can get everywhere, but I choose to use a more sustainable and responsibly farmed rubber glove compared to what the cheap ones are. They might be a little bit more expensive, but they're just better for the environment. Now, one of the most common things that you'll see with the resin art and people making paintings is that they use plastic spoons. I like to use paddle pop sticks or tongue depressors that I can find at bulk buyers so you don't buy as many plastic spoons. And finding sustainable wood ones is also an option. They're a bit more expensive, but they are on the market. Next up, we have baking paper. I like to use this in between my layers of plastic and the bench to prevent any stainage in between those layers because sometimes you get little nicks in the plastic top layer and it just seeps on in and you don't want resin on your nice wooden benches. Paper towel is a must when you're making artworks but you tend to use a lot of it like 5 to 10 sheets, one artwork. So having face washes handy helps you wipe down benches without just going and grabbing those paper towels straight off hand. Having them there just n means that you're going to keep using them, so having a face washer prevents you from using them and wasting so much paper and trees. So those are a few of my tips, but clearly I still use plastic cups. I haven't found a good alternative for them yet. There are paper cups that a lot of people have told me to use, but they just don't last as long. I like to use the plastic cups and wash them out in between artworks. I can't use them more than twice for a resin artwork, but I can use them three to four times with fluid paintings, because fluid paintings are just made out of acrylic paint, so you can easily just wash them out with hot soapy water right after you use them. So much better than just wasting them after one use. So this week's artwork we're going to do this light yellow and peachy kind of coloured, almost abstract themed sunset. And I'm aiming to have yellows and peaches down the bottom with some lighter coloured top. <laughs> so let's see how it goes.
thank you guys so much for all the support i've been getting in my business and on my youtube channel lately i've absolutely loved all of your kind words and comments and just inspirational ideas to get me going i know i've been meaning to make a youtube account for years now and i've finally gone and done it and you guys have just been overwhelming with the kind words and just positive vibes you've been giving me thank you so much So I've made an online gallery this week that's going to be a little share space for young and new artists to be promoted on. All you need to do is tag me in the photos that you would like to be promoted on the page or message the account saying, hey, this is the post and this is the caption I would like to be shared so I can help you guys reach a bigger following. Just something that I wish that had been done back when I was starting out, just to give you guys a little foot in the door. It will be completely free and just any kind of artwork so you can be digital artist or traditional artist is like a painter or you can be a musician or any of those kind of other careers that technically would be classed as an artist these days so if you really want to be promoted and get your foot in the door somehow i think this will be a great step in the door for you i don't know if that's the right wording but that's what i'm gonna go with <laughs> This is actually um, one of my favorite paintings I've ever made. It's called Ice Blueberries and photos have never done this artwork justice. I made it in November last year and I've been po posting photos sorry, <laughs> ever since then and it has not done any justice to how incredibly detailed this artwork is. So I thought I would throw in a 10 second clip of how fucking fantastic this artwork is because I am so proud of it. Thank you again, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have the best day today. Achieve greatness and create some beautiful artworks, guys. Tag me in them so I can see what you create. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.